Well, we're here at the MCG with the two State of Origin coaches, Laurie Daly and Mal Meninga. Guys, bringing back some memories from that 94 match when you were both captains of the side playing against one another? Yeah, it, it does uh, bring back some memories. Um, it was uh, obviously a, a good night for us because we won that game. Uh, we'd lost in Sydney. We had to come down here to, to win in Melbourne. Um, it was a pretty dour game. It wasn't uh, much of an attacking um, uh, spectacle but it was one that we had to win and there was a massive crowd here so hopefully the same thing will happen um, uh, when we play down here in a few weeks time. What about you Mal? What do you remember of that match? Oh, similar to Laurie, um, the atmosphere, I mean obviously it was a big crowd but uneducated crowd really um, so you know cheered at the wrong times but it was still a fantastic um, experience you know for the players, uh, the play in the MCG, you know, hallowed grounds um, you know, so, but we unfortunately lost 14 nil, so we didn't particularly play that well, but uh, uh, yeah, so that's probably you know, a distant memory for me. It was an era of great State of Origin players though, wasn't it? it was, yeah, it was good. It was sort of my last year in the game, so um, obviously one of the goals I set myself um, you know, for 94 was to obviously do well for the Raiders and, and uh, captain a, a winning series, which I never got to do, unfortunately. It's my only, probably one of my few regrets I got in the game. And then obviously play, you know, play for the, the Australian side and two of the Kangaroos at the end of the year. So it was a big year for me. Um, uh, it was great to, to play here, but you know, not fond memories. And uh, Laurie, have you been back to watch any matches at the MCG? Uh, no, um, not not since uh, uh, that that, uh, that that particular game. But it's a magnificent stadium. Uh, it's been um, refurbished, and um, you know, you can see why so many people wanna would love to have the chance of, of, of playing here. Um, great seats. Um, you know, the, the field's in fantastic condition, and um, it's just one of those uh, stadiums that if you ever got a chance to play on, you'd, you'd take it with two hands because um, so much history uh, is, is a part of this venue. With 100,000 capacity, are you hoping that uh, most of that will be blues out there? Yeah, I think um, track record shows though that uh, most of the uh, Melbournians will support uh, the Queenslanders and I suppose, you know, given that um, you know, a few of their key players are from the Melbourne Storm, I'd, I'd say that they'll have mo most of the support. But you know, if if people just want to come along and, and support, we'd love to see a hundred thousand here, regardless of who they're supporting, because it's a it's a great spectacle. It's it's a, it's one of the the great uh, parts of rugby league, state of origin. Um, it's an event, and um, and it's a and it's something that uh, everyone um, certainly enjoys being a part of. Now, what do you know of the supporters down here in Victoria? <coughs> oh, they're they're pretty parochial. Um, and uh, as Laurie mentioned, uh, we've got a, a number of Storm players, so you know we've had um, great support in previous years, and you know um, at Eddie had. So um, I guess we're anticipating, you know, majority crowd being Queenslanders. But as Laurie mentioned, it's it's our pinnacle. It's one of our showpieces, and um, to get 100,000 people here watching an Origin event would be fantastic for our game. And I know the players, and talking to the players, they're, they're really excited about being here. Um, it is I, I, iconic ground and you know you want to get the opportunity to play here. We did and uh, enjoyed the experience um, so you know the players will, will go out there and perform. You've had a chance to have a walk, walk around the stadium this morning. I mean it's quite beautiful inside as well not just um, looking out in the direction that we can see behind oh, us. Fantastic facility all around you know it's um, you know, state of art um, you know people travelling from all over the world coming here will you know you know, find a fantastic you know, stadium comparable to anything in, around the world. So, you know, to play on this is, it's, it's got the same sort of remise as what, you know, Old Trafford might or, you know, Suncorp or, you know, some of the big stadiums overseas. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's great it's here. Um, hopefully we can fill it and entertain the people. Well, only a couple of weeks away now, not even, um, till game one, obviously exciting time. Yeah, it is. Um, I think, you know, everyone that's a football supporter or just a sport supporter in general, you know, they can't wait for Origin to roll around and um, um, yeah, it's not far away and everyone's excited and um, for us it's a, it's a great opportunity to try and build on, on what we achieved last year. Um, but it's going to take a lot more hard work and um, hopefully the guys when they come into camp they'll be, uh, they'll be ready to go. It's going to be a big series, Mal. Yeah. Do you want that um, shield back? Of course we do, you know, so we're, we're all competitive and, um, you know, it gives us 12 more months of, of bragging. So New South Wales won at fair and square last year and, um, you know, their, their desire was fantastic and played extremely well. So um, it's always a challenge. What a game, you can't even talk about the series really, you talk about game. 
you know, first game. Game game one's really important. Um, it's in Sydney, so you know um, our preparation's got to be spot on. Well, we can't wait till game one, but as well, game two here at the MCG is going to be fantastic. Guys, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you.